Where do the weirdest Pizza Hut pizzas come from? Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Summer! As a reminder, we are off tomorrow, but don't despair because every Thursday this summer we're gonna be premiering a brand new video on the Mythical Society, and here's a sneak peek of what's coming out tomorrow. When I'm at work, I'm so self-conscious about going to Duke City, I don't want people to know that I'm in there, you know? So I'll sneak around desks and staircases and stuff just to avoid seeing anyone on the way to the bathroom. I'm sneaky like Arya Stark. I'm Arya Shark. <laughs> Ooh, so go over to mythicalsociety.com to join and check out the new videos featuring our team members every Thursday. Now, uh, I'm ready to eat some weird pizzas. And I'm ready to throw some darts. Well, we're in luck because we have darts and Pizza Hut <laughs> sprinkled the globe with crazy pizzas. It's time for Where in the World Did These International Pizza Hut Pizzas Come From? We'll be tasting and guessing which country Pizza Hut originally released each creation that we're gonna taste, and then we're gonna make our darts fly! Look, there he goes, he's quick, he ducked. Nowhere near Chase, our resident cartographer. Hello. Hey. All right, you measure the distance between the correct answer and your dart, the lower your score, the happier you are, like golf. Yes. Now, Link, you generally lose this game, uh, so uh, as tradition has dictated, we are going to give you a special dart, and this is the Dort. The war? The Dort. Okay. It's a pizza dough dart. All right. Uh, whoever loses is going to have to try the worst International Pizza Hut pizza that we try in Good Mythical More. Let's do it. What do we have here? Mmm. This is some sort of chunky meat. It's a chunky meat, sir. You want that? I do. Chunky I wanna, meat. I want to know what kind of chunky meat it is. I'm going to steal this chunky meat. There's corn over here. Is that barbecue sauce? This is strange, man. What is that, pork? It's like a barbecue chicken pizza, but with pork and corn. What, no, I don't, what meat is that, dude? What is the white stuff? That's not cheese. That's not meat. Is this like That's a, jackfruit. Yeah, because it's very moist and unmeat like in, in a specific sense. I'm over it. Um, you wanna go first? You're all, you're all sporty today. I get the dart. I figure that- I that, get the dough art, so- You, you brought your athletic clothing, I figure you. Just go ahead and go right out of the gate. Let's see, so vegetarian pizza. I don't know what, what I, I'm immediately thinking Canada because I think they are the most quintessentially considerate. I'm not saying everyone's not considerate on the board, but Canada's the first considerate place I think of. The most considerate place. So I'm going for Canada, hedging my bets to the east. That's exactly what I aim for. Ha, I'm feeling it today. Um, I mean, Canada is as good of a guess as any. I also feel like Australia might have done this. Yeah. But the problem is- They're kind of vegan woke down there. This is one of those decisions where I could pull way ahead or I could fall way behind. Or I could hedge my bets and, and aim in the middle of the map. Sure, be a wuss, go for it. You know what? I'm confident, Australia. Ooh. Don't even think about it. All right, Stevie. Don't even think about it. You just ate the vegan jack and cheese pizza, which features Violife vegan cheese and BBQ jackfruit. It's the first vegan pizza tested and masked by the chain, and it debuted in January of this year in the UK. Oh, Ooh. oh, you're, whoa, whoa. You, I'm closer, because I hedged my bet. You got a I should have thrown it in the middle of the map. <laughs> you know, I'll say it wasn't horrible. It was just very disappointing. Yeah, boy, I just fell way behind. Chase? Oh man. Link had 13 and Rhett had 46. Here's our next pizza. Oh, oh burgers! This. We got a burger pizza! This is crazy looking. Now this is it's what a, I'm talking about. It's like a burger suburb. Oh my gosh. Excellent job on this, by the way. There's still some marinara hidden under there, which is Where are they gonna do a burger pizza? I've gotta get so aggressive in my guesses at this point because I just fell so far behind in the first round. Hmm. So there's no hedging my bets. I think I know where this is. I feel like this is a place where the idea of doing a burger pizza is like capturing something from somewhere else in the world and then bringing it to a pizza form. You know what I'm saying? So in other words, you're thinking, Hong Kong. You're thinking Hong Kong? Yeah. You're going to Hong Kong, right? I plan on going, yeah. Well, you should eat it when you get there, because this is where it's from. I'll look for it, but I won't find it. <laughs> Hong Kong. 
Oh, oh wow, man! Woo. I'm accurate today, but I might be wrong. Huh, huh, you about to stab me or you? You know what? I was thinking Hong Kong. <laughs> really? You can't play the game where you just go next to where I it, go. It could be Japan. This is not, I, they love their meats in Brazil. They do. I mean, it's really the home of meats. But I believe this is either Japan or Hong Kong, so I'm gonna go Hong Kong, but to, on the Japan side. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. I let go late. Remember, if you miss the board, it's automatic 50, so. Dang, what happened? <laughs> Okay, boys, this was the cheeseburger crown crust pizza, a pizza cheeseburger hybrid, which first debuted in the United Arab Emirates. Oh, ooh. oh man. Okay, well, I made up you're, some. You're I got definitely l- closer than I got me. lucky. All right, Rhett had 16 and Link had 34. Okay, all right, a little bit of a comeback. <laughs> Open the vault. Ooh. Pepperoni pizza with- Is that Doritos that's a crust? Dorito crusted pepperoni pizza. So simple yet so elegant. Look at that. I mean if you- You gotta go crust first, If you ever were compelled to go crust first. This is it. Who would think of this? Taco Bell. Pizza Hut's like, we can do that too. We just have to do it in another country. Hmm. You're not using your plate, man. (laughs) This is my plate. Yeah, well man. <laughs> we want to share it with people. Let's see. They get hungry for Doritos in Hungary. It didn't sound good once I said it, so I don't think that's the right answer. You know what? I'm going to keep knocking on the Hong Kong door, but I'm going to hedge a little bit. Right there. Dang it, I was... You you wanted to knock on the Hong Kong door? Yeah, because, it again, it's it feels like one of those things that it's taking, even though I was wrong the first time, the reasoning still holds. It's taking something from a different place and putting it on pizza in a way that's a little too carb heavy in a way that probably wouldn't work in the place where Doritos are actually from. So like, I don't think it would be Canada or Australia because those are sort of westernized adjacent. So I do feel like this is coming from the east. You know what, you, it seems like you're making an argument for United Arab Emirates, because this is the same thing you said last round. So just go for that one. I'm gonna go Hong Kong. Or Japan. Japan. I may have actually hit Japan. All right. Okay. This is a Doritos Crunchy Crust pizza, which was offered for a limited time in two countries, but was originally from Australia. Ah! Dang it, look, we're almost equidistant from Australia. What what were the other two countries? Well, there was one more country, and that was Mexico. (laughs) Mexico, huh? All right, Link had 27 and Rhett had 24. Ooh, you have not bridged the gap, but I'm chipping away. And okay, <laughs> what? So we got a what? What is this? A cob salad with some breadsticks? What pig, is this stuff? Pig in a blanket. These are like little. I don't even know how to take it off. These either. are like little pigs in a blanket, and then you would like, I would, I would recreate this like this. What happens when you dig through the lettuce? You find your wedding ring. Oh, it's just cheese on it. Your engagement ring. Wow. I can safely say I don't believe this would work well in an Mm. American market. We don't like that much lettuce on anything. Isn't that like a party platter? Like, Yeah, I feel like I could take, you know what? Let's have a party later. For the big football match. Uh, Okay. I feel like this feels like Hungary. Why? Because I spent some time in that sort of Eastern Europe area, and this feels like the kind of thing that in a different form would have been given to me at that time. You say they throw stuff together in Hungary? No, I'm just saying it has an essence. It has a Hungarian essence. Okay. <laughs> and so I'm going for Hungary. Pretty close, Rhett. Uh, I'm feeling Nigerian. Okay, well, how do, describe that. <laughs> Sometimes you just get a little pep in your step. But you could be a little riskier and move further away from the middle of the board. I'm going for the right answer. Okay, okay. Nigeria BLT pizza. Whoops, fly. <laughs> you I got a floater, practice. you got a floater. Well, come on, jacket, work I, with me. Really, I thought this would have been a great asset. Hey, you guys wanna know what this was? No, nah, let's just stop now. <laughs> okay. This was the cheesy bite bacon salad pizza. This mystifying combination of great things with a bad thing must have been born out of a country that was starved for good ideas, which is fitting because this is from Hungary. All right, I don't know if I made up all the ground though because you 
Got you so were, close inadvertently. You, you just got lucky, man. I know. I'm. You say a, reasons for no this reason. This is the first good reason that I had. All right, Link had 12 and Rhett had two. Ooh, it's almost tied. Dang, son. It all comes down to this. Is there a trough of I there's a trough of meat in the middle of this shrimp pizza with caviar on it? This is a seafood nasty pizza. Can we say that we ate this and not? Um, what is that? I'm gonna get a little bite of the trough. And of course, the thing that I'm removing is a tomato. <laughs> it's sausage in the middle. Is that okra? That is okra. There is legitimate okra on this pizza. What on earth is happening, Pizza Hut? Okay, so I gotta go first. I haven't used my secret weapon, my dough. Pizza of dough. Man, you, um, don't even, you should give me the cheat, man. I don't think you want this cheat. <laughs> I mean, is this really an advantage? Okay, well let's find out. You don't have to use it if you don't want it. Um, there's a little sweetness in there too. Eh. Um, every, everything except Nigeria in the middle of the board is taken. So, you know, Japan's an island. Last time I checked, a lot of seafood surrounding that joint. So um, I could see that happening. I could also knock on Hong Kong's door again. But I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to stretch this. Yeah, thing. you could. You could. Oh, this is this is sticky. This might work. Yeah, th it's a good cheat, man. You're gonna be able to get like. I gotta stretch it out. You're gonna stretch it over multiple guesses. I, I'm doomed. I've seen them do this with their with their fist and then they throw it. Because I'm gonna try to stretch from Nigeria. To Hong Kong. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Chase is back there. Can you reinforce the board? Is that are you hiding or is that what you're doing? Oh, I'm re I'm reinforcing. I'm it's just a foam board. I, we feel like the the dort might uh, make it collapse. <laughs> okay. Okay. Make it count. From Nigeria. Don't miss the board. <laughs> Here's what I'll say. Please. If you miss the board, I'll let you throw a dart. Okay. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Okay. Look at that. It did not do what I wanted, but at least it's stuck and it's dripping down over Nigeria. <laughs> All of Africa is succumbing to my dort. <laughs> well, you know what? The longer I wait, the more accurate your answer gets. So <laughs> you just peel out. Oh, you think it's Nigeria? Well, no, I'm saying if it is, it's getting closer. It's getting closer to anything that's south of it. So it's getting closer to Brazil. Uh. I don't know, man. And just this this feels like Hong Kong or Japan, right? You got shrimp on a pizza, but is that designed to throw me off? And this is really Canadian for some reason. So you're going for Canada? No, I'm going for Hong Kong. Knock, knock, knocking on Hong Kong's door. Okay, this monstros monstrosity, which is covered by that plate, is called the Double Sensation 2 Seafood Sensation and it features a unique double crust and sausage, shrimp, crawfish, scallops, on, fish Nigeria. eggs, carrots, cranberry, okra, and more. These were available for a limited time in Hong Kong. Yeah! Yes! Yes! I should have knocked on the door. <laughs> I was trying to get there. Oh, the, I only made it to Nigeria. The dort failed you, man. Son of a doe. <laughs> Link had 20 and Rhett had 11. Oh, so that means that, who wins? Rhett. Now don't be a jerk, congratulations. <laughs> I have to eat what arguably is the worst uh, Pizza Hut con con conflagration. <laughs> that wasn't one of these, it's a totally different one. In Good Mythical More. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Jennifer. And I'm Veronica. And we're from California. But we're actually at the Great Wall of China. And it's time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. Woo! International traveling mythical beasts. Click the top link to watch Link try a Marmite and cheese crust pizza in Good Mythical World. Ooh! And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. We got some mythical threads for your head, now in three different styles, polo, camper, and beanie. Head on over to mythical.store to get yours.